What's up guys, it's your boy Yazzie back at it again and today we're gonna do another review on one of my favorite movies that I've been anticipating this year. Secrets of Dumbledore. Be sure to leave it a like, comment, subscribe, do all the notification stuff, you know, all the good stuff. Share the channel out. Be sure to check it out. Support me, you know, for all the good stuff. And I'm going to just say it right now because everybody is not answering the question. Let me just say this. If you're a Harry Potter fan, go watch this movie. If you're a Fantastic Beast fan... Go watch this movie. If you're a magical fan, go watch this movie. If you're a fan of any of these actors, go watch this movie because everybody plays it good. All right? Best best way to describe this movie, it's a good standard movie. It's a good movie and it's a standard movie. What I mean by that is literally the movie was good in the sense where it was a good stepping stone in the right direction for the series. And it's a good movie to have as the standard basis for the next two films if they continue to make them what i mean by that if you guys haven't known so far fantastic beast right now is project this movie is prote projected to make a lower amount of box office money compared to crimes of grindelwald and following before that obviously just the normal and where to find them the first fantastic beast movie Anyways, and what I mean by standard is literally this movie should be the standard for the next upcoming movies as well. Meaning that the what the direction they they took in this movie was good, right? But it's at the same time it should I know okay, I might sound like I'm like going back and forth, but I don't know how else to say it. This is the standard, right? Uh that's what's another thing? Uh, the Batman, for example, from D from Warner Bros, from Matt Reeves, that should be the standard for like people are saying that should be the standard for solo movies. I agree. Same thing with here in this in this series, The Secrets of Dumbledore is literally the new standard for the Fantastic Beast series. All right, moving on. Of course, you know Eddie Redmayne plays New Great, Drew Law plays. Albus Dumbledore, great. Matt Mickelson plays it. Uh, Grindelwald, great. I'll get back into that. But the two biggest superstars of this uh, series, or in 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 this movie in particular, is Jacob and Professor Helix. These two right here. Uh, Professor Jacob, uh, Professor Jacobs, Professor, Professor Helix, and then all, obviously Jacob, the, the nomad, the Muggle. All right. Anyways, uh, the way I see this movie, I went into it with like with no like you know no no criticism, no hype, no nothing because I wasn't sure the direction where this movie is going. There's obviously this movie is great, it's good. I I personally rate it a seven, a solid seven. All right, and I'm gonna go into it why. But the reason this movie, okay, I'm going to just say it right now because I don't understand why people don't understand this. Harry Potter was its own series that had a direction, had a path, and had characters they knew they wanted to keep as the main characters besides Hermione, Ron, and Harry, right? And obviously, the books were made, so, you know, it's easy to create and replicate. I'm not saying it's really easy, but I'm saying it, it gives them a pathway to follow for the next coming movies. For this movie, and maybe the ne for the next upcoming ones, the most annoying thing about this movie is that... Not even the movie, the whole series... Is that they keep on adding characters and characters and characters and characters, which I'm all in for. I understand. But, bro, you got to understand that every like if you want to make a movie like if you really want the movie to connect with just 
audiences in general. Because J.K. Rowling, she's notoriously famous for making characters um, relate to those who feel outside of the world, who don't feel connected to the world. And there's just too many groups. I like it, but it makes the story a little bit weak. And I'm going to explain uh, uh, some of the reasons why. So obviously there's going to be the secrets of Dumbledore. There are secrets in this movie. I'm not going to talk about it until later on in the video. I'm going to say I'm going to start a spoiler free when uh when I in dirt, later on in the video I'm going to let you guys know. But just for example right now. Let me just say this right now. Though basically the whole plot of the movie is obviously you saw in the trailers. You saw they're trying to break the love bond thing from Dumbledore's side and also Grindelwald wants to become the leader of the magical world, right? There's an election going on, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, that's already two groups right there, right? You got the Grindelwald side, and then you got the Dumbledore side, right? And then on top of that, you got Newt's group, Newt's group of friends. And here you also got Credence and his gang thing. It's not like a gang, but you'll understand when you watch the movie, right? Then on top of that, you also got the people getting elected, all right? Another one. And then also you got, let's see, I'm trying to remember, that might be it, actually. Oh, and then you got the people that Dumbledore knows, right? Which you're going to see, of course. I'm not going to explain who, what, what, when, how, why. you already seen them in the thing, blah, 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 blah. So all of that happens. You, you have all these characters. And then basically, there's another problem with this movie. And it's the fact that, I don't know. I, I think I'm the only one who sees this, but this movie lacks... Like a sense of a whole, like it, it, it feels like a part one of something. I don't know how to explain it. Like for example, there's obviously in the trailer you see people they go to uh, Hogwarts, right? Well, in this movie, of course they do, duh, because it's in the trailer. But whenever they go to Hogwarts, Hogwarts doesn't feel like Hogwarts. You know, it feels empty. There's like. Like, when you see Harry Potter, whenever you see the Great Hall, it's just loaded with people. It is literally loaded with so many people, it's crazy. In this movie, you see that, it's like, bro, everyone, it's like, there's only like 100 kids in that damn castle. And bro, there's like times when they're like passing by, they're going through mirrors, you know, trying to do that whole Harry Potter cinematography thing, which is great. You know, I'm in all in for it. Overall, the cinematography in this movie, fantastic. But there's times like you see this castle, you see the Hogwarts legendary castle. It don't look, it, it looks so abandoned it doesn't feel like hogwarts there's you know the that air i forgot the that one outside backyard area near the entrance of hogwarts there's no one there when these guys are going to go visit dumbledore there's no one there it's just you have to enter and then you see some kids one kid there one kid there it's like bro everyone's sleeping or something bro i don't know that's just my pr problem with the movie you know Everyone has their own opinions. Anyways, let's move on for some of the good sides of this movie was it's starting to connect a little bit with Harry Potter more and more and more. Obviously, you got um, you obviously got uh, what's his name, Dumbledore, Aberforth. Uh, there's McGonagall right there in the background right there. If you guys didn't know, spoiler. I mean, haha. I mean, y'all should know by now if you've been following up. But yeah, there is that part. Uh, you start seeing the connections to the Harry Potter world more and more and more, which is great. Uh, cinema cinematography obviously is great, and I feel like when it comes to the intros of all of these movies, they're all good. But this one really was the intro for the movie was awesome. 
I'm not, I'm not going to go into details, but it was awesome. It was bright and dark. When you watch the movie, you'll understand what I mean. All right? So then there's that. Uh, runtime, I, I believe, was great. There was, not, there was not even a single time I was like, damn, bro, it's getting too long. No, nothing like that. It was great. Overall, the characters were all good. And yeah, I mean that I mean that's really it. I mean there's nothing really I can say because literally it's in the title. Secrets of Dumbledore. Alright. The only thing else I would have to say is I wish there was I wish they cut down on characters. Not in the sense where they should, you know, literally cut them like halfway all down. But I wish they focused on one group. Like in Harry Potter, there is one group. Harry, Ron, Hermione. No one else, literally. In this one, it's like they're trying to have Fantastic Beasts. Like the Newt group good. Like, you know, with the New York guys and him, you know. And then on top of that, you know, he got Newt's relatives or, you know, Theseus. Then on on, on top of that, he got his relationship with Dumbledore. And Dumbledore is the spotlight of this movie, though. And then on top of that, Dumbledore has a relationship with Grindelwald. And then Grindelwald has a bunch of followers. But then both of them have to go to the selection people. It's like there's just too many damn people in this movie. All right. And on top of there's Credence too. There's just too many people, bro. Anyways, if you're a Harry Potter fan, go watch this movie. If you're not, if you, if, okay, I'm going to be honest. The trailer really is a good trailer. And if you like the trailer, go watch the movie. If you're a Harry Potter fan, go watch the movie. Fantastic Beast fan, go watch the movie. Not just a magical fan in general, go watch the movie. Yeah, it, it's, it's worth your time. I give it a seven out of 10, and that's it. But, now, I'm going to get into spoiler review. All right? So, heads up. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. I'm about to speak about it right now. All right. So, this movie. <sighs> so, of course. Uh... <sighs> I'm, I'm kind of gutted that uh this movie didn't have a end credit scene like they, they didn't hype it up for anything for the next upcoming movie which is understandable since it might not even be made because of the lack of money being made at the box office uh, I don't know why people were complaining about the, the magic in this movie being bad and not understandable I, I get it but I, I still it's like the the it made sense, right? You had Order of the Phoenix stuff, like where you know you saw magic happening by like older wizards. In this one, it was beautiful, right? There's that. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of gutted that they didn't add an end credit scene. But it's understandable. My apologies. It's slight. Um, it's understandable why they didn't. Uh, but yeah, obviously one of the big things is this dude. Where is he? My boy Credence. And rap. My boy Credence, bro. He is Aberforth's son. Who is also dying. Honestly, bro. The one thing I didn't like about this movie a lot. Which I'm starting to realize more and more and more. They said a lot of things. But didn't show a lot of things. Of course, you find out Credence is Aberforth's son. But he's not. But they don't show it. They don't show who the lady is, of course. But they don't even show Ariana's death. You know, that you get into Ariana's death to how she actually died, how she is uh, obscurious, and how she is all of this. But you still don't know how she died, right? Of course, they had like that counter. Uh, Dumbledore accidentally killed her and blah, 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 blah. But you don't see it. You just hear it from them. You know, uh, that's why there's not really that connection. Like, oh, shoot, I can feel it. There's a lot of that happening in this movie. And another big problem I had with this movie was, of course, Tina not being in the movie as much. Apparently, there might have been some political thing happening or she was busy with other movies. I'm not sure. But, bro, it did. It, it felt like Tina died for a second. It really did. Cause she, she doesn't cut. She her screen time is like ten minutes long, and it sucked. 
it just plain sucked to be honest. Cause you see, like it's like, bro, if imagine you watch a Harry Potter movie and don't see Hermione in the whole movie until like the last ten minutes. It don't feel like Harry Potter anymore. You know what I mean? Imagine there's no Ron. It's just Harry and Hermione. It don't feel right. There's still got to be those glimpses here and there to make you feel like, okay, he's still there. But yeah, there's that. Of course, there's other things happening in this movie. Of course, the whole ending part with Grindelwald and like that one creature. I don't even know what the name is, but basically the creature finds out, you know, if you're worthy enough in... Instead of picking Grindelwald, it picked, of course, Dumbledore. And Dumbledore rejected. And then this lady in the background became the new headmistress of magic, whatever. Which is interesting, of course. And, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah I'm sleepy, my man. Whew. But, yeah. Uh, of course, the blood pack is broken by the end of the movie. Grindelwald escapes. Now, what is the future holding for this movie i don't know i genuinely don't know bro um this there's a really high chance that there might not even be a fourth movie because box office ain't looking good at the moment but yeah i really hope that it comes back uh there are special moments in this movie I, I, i just love like the one scene when all the briefcase opens at near the end of the movie and then it just gives you uh you know one of the briefcases has kowalski uh muffins whatever one has just papers all the other one has quidditch uh quidditch uh you know quidditch stuff that was a really special moment. It really reminded me of Chamber of Secrets when Harry's chasing, trying to get the one envelope, just one. Is it one? Is it the, is the Chamber of Secrets? Or is it the first one? It might be the first one. It might be Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone, whatever you want to call it. It's one of them. It's the one where he's trying to catch the envelopes. They're, they're just coming out of nowhere, everywhere from his house. Right? Actually, it is the first one. My bad. Yeah, it is the first one. And then, you know, the whole Harry Potter theme is playing. You get those goosebumps. Like, you know, people were cheering when that part came on. Another another special moment, not for me, but it was just the goofy moment, which it, it made the movie more, like, lively and, like, funny a little bit, was Nude's Dance, of course. With the scorpion-looking things in that one chamber-looking place, that was a solid part. Um... And then, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a great movie. It's, I mean, it's not great. It's a good movie that has flaws, you know. Not every movie is perfect, I understand. But there, there are parts in this movie where you really feel like they cheaped you out. But anyways, that is my review. Once again, go watch this movie if you're a fan of any of the things I said about, like, any of the thi- If you're a fan of anything about this story or the actors, go watch this movie. You'll have a great time. It's definitely... If uh, if I had to rate it out of 10, of course, I said 7. Um, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it, it definitely doesn't deserve anything below a 7. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notification bells for other stuff. I'm gonna go see Northman, uh... When it comes out, yeah. Sorry again once for the delay on this video. I actually watched the movie yesterday night, but yeah, it, it was a great experience. I hope they make a fourth and fifth. I really want to see the the crazy big battle between Grindelwald and Jude Law. I mean Grindelwald, and Jude Law, Grindelwald and uh, Albus Dumbledore. But anyways, hope you guys take care, and I'm gonna see you guys soon. Peace.